Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I tried to film a video yesterday and it didn't work out for whatever reason. I think I did a lot this week, as my patrons will know, um, and I must have been a bit overwhelmed, maybe needed some time to decompress before I tried to tackle the next work, like project of the week. Um, I tried to decorate my Filofax archive binder and it just didn't really work. <laughs> um, I had decided this is what I want to do for archiving, is use my treasury tags and my Filofax archive binder. I think it feels the most sustainable for me, and by sustainable I mean like manageable long term rather than like sustainability environmentally speaking. I think these will be easiest for me to get hold of consistently and the treasury tags are really cheap so it's just I think makes the most sense. Also fits in my box which is a big perk. Um, this week I want to do another Filofax info dump <laughs> in case that wasn't clear. Um, I actually just finished filming this video and I thought it went really well, I was really happy with it and then my phone had cut out at six minutes in so I am like gutted. Um, I had talked I think like really organically, I don't know how to describe it, but basically like I had a really good time talking about it and I was really excited and then I stood up to turn the camera off and it just was not filming. So if anyone has ever experienced that, it is like it hurts, like my feelings are hurt and now I have to try and sit and do it again and it's just, it's hard. Um, the devastation you guys. Okay, I wanted to talk for a second time. I want to talk about some stuff. I want to talk about my file of facts. I'm going to talk a bit about my archive solution and then I want to talk about what's working for me. And then I would like to talk about the planner inserts because I'm going to make them available in the shop for in time for when this video goes up. I made some new stickers and I also have something to rehome, which I'll talk about at the end, <laughs> something to unhaul. Um, so there we go. My Filofax archive solution, I'm just going to use these. As I say, they're inexpensive. These are even more inexpensive. I just think it makes the most sense. And because they fit in my archive box, it's just a solid choice for me, it feels. Um, I tried to film a video yesterday <laughs> that also went wrong about decorating the front of this binder. I thought that I wanted to decorate the front of the binder. Um, I had got this sticker from a shop in the UK and I have the card creatively haunted they're on etsy and they have their own website and instagram so you can check them out i'll put the link in the description i have some other stickers too and i'll show you um i had bought this sticker um it says caution this is a haunted object interact at your own risk and i just thought it was really funny it's very like lockwood and co like a paranormal investigation psychical society of research kind of thing and i just think it's cool like this object has a malevolent entity attached is something that makes me giggle when i think about it so I had thought it would be a normal vinyl sticker, but instead it's very hard plastic. It feels kind of similar to like those plastic reflective stickers you can get for bikes. Um, it's not bendy really, it is, but it pings. <laughs> so what had happened was I wanted to stick it here like this and fold it over around the spine and it just kept pinging off. <laughs> um, I didn't expect that to be a thing. So I took all the stickers back off here because I decided that it was stressing me out too much. I think that to decorate things and to make collages and stuff, I have to be in a very specific mood. That's why my pages are very like easily organized and not like really dramatically laid out. They're just in corners and stuff and in margins. Um, I think I have to be in the right headspace for it and a lot of the time I'm just not. Um, so I decided I was not going to decorate this. <laughs> um, it's too much stress. And ultimately, everything to do with my notebooks has to be manageable long term. It has to not be super stressful. If there's stuff that I have to like actively find time to do apart from general maintenance, then I'll procrastinate it is the problem. When I don't have enough energy to do something, I will just not see it through. Um, so I decided it'd probably be better to find a different home for this sticker. Not sure where, but somewhere. Um, and I'll leave these plain. <laughs> um, so I had also bought some super cute stickers from a small shop. I think it's based in Australia. Um, I put one of them that I peeled off the cover in here. Yeah, a little guy with the bus stop. I think it's cool with the spiky headphones. Um, and it's from this shop, Mothinity or Moffy. Um, this is their info, but I'll put it in the description for you. I think they came from Australia and it came pretty fast. Um, this one was the freebie that came with the order, and then these two are like Junji Ito inspired. 
And then there's a little two-headed bunny, and I love a good two-headed creature with earphones and an iPod, which is fun. This one, also cute with the star, um, and a little like tooth cat thing. And then this was the like the bit that seals the top of the plastic envelope, and I just thought it was pretty cool. I might keep that. I just think it's neat. <laughs> um, big fan, really cute work, um, and also kind of very like Y2K, like. I don't know, it reminds me of like, you know, the little emo drawings from back in the day, which I guess also were similar to my work, um, but that kind of thing, I just like it, so there we go. Super cute, I, as I say, I had bought both of those sets of stickers for my binder, um, back when I thought I was going to get a Franklin Covey one, <laughs> um, and obviously that didn't work out, but I think maybe it's better this way because things do need to be easy for me to maintain. And I think if I knew I was going to have to try and decorate something every couple of months, I would put it off and it would be kind of an ordeal. Um, and it's better that things are just kept simple. So in that regard, I then did kind of think that maybe I would decorate the front page. So when it's in the binder, this would be the front page. Um, this is the back of my, or the front of my December calendar. So it's the first page of the binder. Um, and I thought if I made an archive label, which I did, then I could decorate sort of underneath and around it. But then it's that thing again of like, I don't think I need the stress. <laughs> I don't think I really want something that I would have to, to dedicate time to doing. I don't know if decorating stuff like that, layering things up in that kind of way is necessarily something that I enjoy in the same way that others do. Like, I think others really enjoy spending time layering up tape and stickers, and I just don't know if I do. And the fact that I don't know probably suggests that I don't. <laughs> um, so I think, again, it's probably better if I keep this page blank, but for the label. And then inside is where all the cool stuff goes, and I can layer up pictures and stickers and not tape, because I don't really like tape. But, you know, I can do all of my creative stuff in the pages, which I think is where it should be focused for me anyway. I think that's what makes the most sense. Um, so that's where I'm at with archiving. Um, the revised 2024 Filofax personal size inserts should be in the shop when you're watching, and I made sure to include the labels. Um, I put two on an A6 page, so you can print them out like the normal sticker sheets, and it should work for you. Um, it's blank, obviously, but it's this format, and it's pretty cute. I like it a lot, so there you go. Put it in there. It's also on Patreon, if you don't use Filofax but you want them, they're on Patreon. <laughs> um, so, cool. Um, I also did finally put Reagan on a piece of paper. Um, I decided, again, because this one I knew would be the first page in the archive, I wanted to put her in here, so I put her on a transparent tracing paper sheet. And I think it's cool. She's finally stuck down, <laughs> just for anyone waiting. Um, so then what I think I want to do, archive stuff aside, is just quickly go over why I think Filofax feels better this time, why it's more manageable this time around. Um, last time when I was in here, I got overwhelmed. <laughs> I was using Filofax personal size in July, I think, of 2023. Um, and I used it for, I don't know, maybe a month. And then I spun off and I spiraled into developing my very own traveler's notebook. So they then got printed and that was like a whole thing. Um, I think, the, first of all, I think the mistake I made last time was that I did too much too fast. I flew too close to the sun, so to say. Um, I really like tunnel visioned my way through it. I started in A5, that was too unwieldy for carrying around, and then I moved into personal. And I developed my own pages, and I printed them, and then I made them for the shop. And I made like a lot of them for the shop. I did a few alternate versions. I was also making A5 ones for the shop. And then within my own personal file of facts, I also had like a lot of different types of pages. <laughs> it was just like there was a lot going on. So then when I started to hit that wall of burnout, suddenly there was like an impossible amount of stuff to keep up with. Like it was too much, too fast. Um, which is entirely my bad, obviously. <laughs> but this time around, when I started dabbling with this again in December, I said from the start that I was going to take it much slower. And that's why the inserts will only now be available this week, which is like two months in. Um, some could argue that two months is still not a lot of time, <laughs> but it has felt right for me to move through it like this. Um, and the way that I've kept it manageable for myself is really only by having like two types of pages. So the only upkeep I have to do monthly is printing these two sheets. Um, obviously one side is blank and has one half of the calendar. And the other side has the other half of the calendar and my sleep log. <laughs> um, and that's it monthly. 
so it's super easy all i have to do is redate this for myself which is fine in the shop it's undated just to make things a bit easier but i date it for myself and then i put my mood tracker which is also in the one in the shop but this month i typed it for the first time um these ones i didn't actually use it in december but for then for january do i have a tag yes um i wrote it because i wasn't sure what i wanted to track what does that say photo from sofa to cover this side i don't know why a note from past megan i don't know what she means <laughs> um but I'm, i typed it this time so all i have to do is edit this slightly every month and then um that's it it's very easy and then really the only other type of page I use day to day is my commonplace style pages. Um, originally I called these commonplace pages, this like the with the header for the index and the margin. To me that is like a commonplace page. But now I, d I don't use other styles of pages, I just use this style for everything. Um, and that makes it like so easy to maintain. I print them sort of five at a time, which is effortless. <laughs> um, because my whole punch can punch five pages at a time, that's why I do it. Um, for most people, I think that would be 10 at a time, but because my pages are doubled over on themselves, it's 5. Um, and I think part of the mistake I made last time was that I had a lot of different pages. So one of the pages I was using last time was this style, but it had a brain drain heading, which I think was a mistake, because then every time I wanted a like, brain drain, I was having to print brain drain specific pages. Um, and it was exactly the same, it just had a header, and I just think that was kind of silly of me, maybe, on retrospect. It was cool, don't get me wrong, and I know people liked it, but I think maintenance-wise, it was too much, it was too much to keep on top of. Obviously, this purple sticker means brain drain anyway, so when I was printing those brain drain pages, I was like double tagging it, and it was so much work. Um, and now everything is on the commonplace style pages with the margin, the margin pages which means that I only ever have to print those. And because I do my weekly logs on here as well, it's just super easy. Um, so at any given time, I'm really only printing two types of page, which is very good. <laughs> um, and I think that's, that's it. That's why it works this time better. And that's why it feels better. It feels smoother because it's so effortlessly maintained. Um, but the nice thing again, is that if I want to add other pages, <laughs> like my little 2024 guy, I can and it's really easy um, and then again at the beginning of January I made myself this little calendar page so that I could tick them off and I can actually do January now these are the stickers I got I got these oh, god I got these little like shiny iridescent kind of colorful star stickers and I'll cover the month just like in the middle each time we pass um, I just think it would be cute. I got these on Amazon. I'll link them in the description if you're interested. It came with like a lot of sheets, which is nice. So there we go. Um, I worked a long time to find these because they're smaller than most star stickers. Most of the time they're like a centimeter square. Um, and these are slightly smaller, I think. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, but I can make one-off pages when I want to. Like that's the great thing about file effects, right? Is that you can take things in and out and you can make one-off stuff and it's like not stressful, you don't have to worry about things bulking up or being in the wrong place, like you can just, it's so effortless to move through things. Um, so I made myself this calendar page and then I made myself my Filofax tracker, so I track if I write a little every day and also staying in the Filofax just for that feeling for myself. Um, and then it's back into my calendar and then it's back into my commonplace style pages. So it's really, really easy. Um, and then the only other type of page I use at the moment is my book reviews. Um, and I'll talk a bit about these in the next segment because I have made some other stuff for the inserts for other people. But for me personally at the moment, things are very, very simple and that's really nice. Um, everything, it's like when I was in my A6 books, it was nice that I had a page a day but I don't think I necessarily need it. I think for me on a personal level, it's more important that I'm able to capture like the feeling of the time rather than like every single day. Some days I do just sleep, like I just sleep whole days. <laughs> um, this should not be surprising information. I don't think it's even that uncommon. Sometimes you're just having a bad day and you don't do anything that you want to write about. But when I was using my dated books, obviously I would still have to add notes to that day. And sometimes that's nice because you can kind of reflect on how you are feeling and if you're feeling good or bad about it and just kind of it's still important i guess to log those times but sometimes i don't want to <laughs> um, sometimes i just don't wanna 
it's just nicer to I think sometimes to to just have a general feeling for a time rather than like every single day broken down depending on your style obviously for me the root cause of everything I do is memory keeping it's about being able to look back on stuff and reference things and see things I have really bad memory issues so it is the root of everything I do and I think when I look back at my January pages um, which start here-ish I'm like, okay, I can see that I got my new boots at the beginning of this month. If you had asked me when I thought I got these boots, I would not have guessed January. I think I've had them, I thought I would have thought I had them for longer. But, like, I can see that. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, starting to play Baldur's Gate. And when I look at these pages and these little photos that I have for reference, I'm like, I can remember how excited I was when I first started playing and I was, like, really pleasantly surprised at how much I was enjoying it because I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. It was a game where I asked my brother in advance if he thought I would like it because he plays a lot more games than I do. Um, and he said, yeah, probably. Like, it's not, it's open world, you, there's character customization, like, you'll probably have a, have some fun <laughs> kind of thing. But then I, I loved it. I am still playing it and I still love it. And I just, when I look at these pages, I can, I can remember how excited I was and how, like, surprised and, like, really, like, content. Um, and that's, that's really cool. <laughs> and um, that's why I do this. So then I can see myself going through the thought process of the sofa. This was the original sofa I looked at, but not the one I bought. I can like see the time, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I can feel the way it all connects up over a period of days. Um, I went to Bath and that I went to look at the sofa and then I found a different sofa and I saw a movie while I was there. <laughs> um, and like this probably took place over like two or so weeks. And when I look at this little set of pages, I can feel that period of time, do you know what I mean? Like I I can remember those days well enough and I think the stuff that happened in between the moments of stress or being tired or not sleeping, sitting on the train for a long time, like those things I feel aren't as important. But it's these little bits where I'm like, okay, I know I know the, these things happened in January, I can remember how I felt and I think that's what I need. I think now maybe I think... <laughs> I feel like I'm always saying that but I think um like maybe it's better to have a moment in time captured in a really good way than to worry so much about upkeeping a daily a, a set of daily pages for me anyway um it's just really interesting to see how different I feel like month to month about how I collect things but this feels like it's more efficient and I think this is more similar to my old old books when I made my new year video last year and I had that stack of A6 Loistrom notebooks from when I was like 17, 18, 19 and there was like 10 of them and I was going through them, it was that thing of being able to feel a moment in time rather than looking at daily pages and that's how this feels too, it's like it's a moment in time, <laughs> like I'm just popping in and out of the Filofax when I need it, when I want it, like when I feel like I have things to say and things I want to capture for later and that was how I used to use those smaller notebooks. So maybe in a way it's like full cycle again <laughs> and it kind of makes sense. Um, it's just full cycle in a different way to what the A6 books were. But that's kind of where I'm at with it. It feels very manageable. I just tap in and tap out when I need. Um, there's no pressure to be writing all the time. Like this week I was busy. So I made an effort to print things out. <laughs> um, this is from the beginning of the week. And then I printed out pages so the stuff I've been working on and then the little sticker that I took off my cover um but I think this is good because I can still probably maybe even this evening or tomorrow I'll probably reflect on my week but at least I have the pictures there for reference and that's what I felt like I needed at the time and I maybe was too busy or I was distracted or inspired doing other stuff so I didn't sit down and do the writing but it's those pictures that I'll use as reference regardless do you know what I mean I don't often sit and read my writing but I do look at the pictures, like the writing is for now, it's cathartic when I'm writing and then the pictures are for later, <laughs> does that make sense? Um, and so I think together they work really well and I look at these and I don't read the text but I do look at the pictures and I'm like I can feel it, like I know what was happening without reading the words um, and then when I am writing the words it feels so important to get those thoughts down and it's just, it's cool the way it works like that, I guess like past and present, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's just, it's working, it's very easy to maintain. Um, and then next, I have a list on my laptop, hang on, things to talk about <laughs> for the second time. Um, and then next I want to talk about the planner inserts in the shop. So I'll talk you through quickly what I have and I'll put some pictures on screen 
I thought about printing them all to show you making like a mock booklet but then I was like I won't use those pages <laughs> um I don't need them all as I say I'm keeping things streamlined so I didn't want to print them all out to just have them although I might have to do it for shop photos anyway so maybe I will but I haven't got it right now so I'll put some photos on screen as I'm talking about it if they're not in here to show you um and then we'll see <laughs> how we go um so the first pages that I have in that how do you call it in the inserts folder when you buy it basically is the 2024 calendars like this you get the little overviews and you can have it with or without the Joan Didion quote which I think is nice um and then I made this one just a tracker for 2024 so I'm tracking staying in Filofax and writing a little bit every day and then I have this reminder for myself but I took that off and I took my text off and then what you're left with is a tracking page for the whole of 2024 with all the months at the top but you get two things per month to track um so it's two squares per month which i think is nice um so you can track anything <laughs> um and then i have my calendars so i've made the double versions like i did previously with some blank pages and some other stuff to mix and match it but basically you get the calendar across two pages and on the side of the calendar is the mood tracker or whatever you want to track there's room down here to track like five things you think um, and you can write it at the top if you want to and then the calendar pages are undated so you don't have to worry about printing like loads every month or in, in all in one go you can just date them as you want um, and then uh, I changed my sleep tracker into just a blank monthly tracker for you guys you can choose what to track um, and it's pretty simple I took these lines out so you can draw them back in yourself where you want to put them because I keep notes in the middle you could take that out and track like a hundred things <laughs> if you wanted and that could be cool but that's a tracker and then obviously the common play style pages are in there there's versions without the margin there's a blank version 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 i've been talking for two hours um a blank version and then uh, what else do i have the daily pages i've made some a couple of versions of the daily pages i have some at the back but i haven't used them yet um, so this is what it looks like and I think I moved the weather tracking to the top so it's smaller, it's neater um, and then there's also a version that has like a longer day so it's broken down into half hour increments, someone on Patreon asked for that um, so if you're someone who has to manage their day very closely you can do that um, otherwise I think it looks mostly the same um, I have also made some weekly pages and the weekly pages are based off of my traveler's notebook experiment um, I'll show them on screen <laughs> um, I think a lot of patrons asked for it to be based on that and I also kind of wanted to base it on that because I think it was like the nicest evolution of my weekly pages um, I think a couple of people were asking for verticals but the one that I went with is horizontal and I did make the half page for the middle if you want it um the like little the little long insert <laughs> um but it's cute it's based on my travel notebook experiment it has like weather tracking and mood tracking i think um and i just think it's a nice use of the space there's a margin or a column down one side that you could use for like tracking habits and stuff or making notes throughout the days and then there's a big blank one at the bottom too for extra stuff as well so it's very customizable um aside from that what do i have i made a lot of media tracking pages so oh, i printed one oh, i printed them <laughs> that's useful for me so i have my reading log my book review pages and i also made like log style pages like more like list versions so you can write down everything you read you i might include articles and stuff fan fiction <laughs> um and you can put the dates and the rating and i just did three stars for these log style pages um i kind of think you could use it like did not like did like and i like, really liked just to keep it simpler but it's also so that you have more room on this side um so i made this for reading watching listening and then gaming <laughs> so i made four types of media um and there's a version for all of them so each one has a log style page um a version that has a wish list on the back or a double wish list whatever it's one of the page types so it's like a to be read or to want to watch and then like a gaming wish list um, and then for listening it's like albums you want to buy and then there's also a review style page for all of them so book review gaming review <laughs> um album review with a room for like a picture and like ticking what like format you own it on um and like a film tv review i just think it's kind of cute and it's very fun and it comes back to that thing of like everything that i do and make i guess especially in my notebooks, is more about memory keeping and tracking <laughs> um, and like documenting and sort of logging and cataloging and archiving all the stuff 
um and I think those media pages are like really in line with that I guess um with being uh, that being like my underlying <laughs> motivation um so whereas other inserts you can buy or groups of inserts might be more like goal-based and like productivity and motivation based like uh quarter year goals and stuff for me it feels more important to have those commonplace pages those media tracking pages calendars for basic stuff but then there is also obviously the daily and weeklies if you need them um but i'm really happy with them i think i'm probably forgetting something but i can't can't think what right now um and you can look at the listing and it will have it all there um but that's kind of the, the general overview of what's going on in that I did also include the archive label, I can't remember if I said that this time or the last time when the video didn't record <laughs> but you do have the option to get that too if you want to use it um, super cute, I'm gonna be working on some other bits too, like some more tip-in type stuff like this um, some people on Patreon were asking for like little habit trackers and stuff, which I have made previously but I want to make some more um, so you can keep an eye out for that kind of stuff I guess I'll be working on in the background um, I also made some more stickers this week, <laughs> so I made- someone on Patreon asked for some square stickers because they have a hard time cutting things out, which is incredibly reasonable, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. It can be a nightmare to try and cut around things. Um, so I made some square shaped stickers and I think they're really fun. They're very moody, but I think <laughs> I had a really good time making them and I'm looking forward to using them if nothing else. Um, there's like a little gloomy guy with headphones and he's listening to his music and there's one that's sleeping, I just think it's fun, it's kind of silly. There's one that's like a club ID card <laughs> um, and I just, I don't know, had fun with it. I also made another page then inspired by like my childhood I guess and like similar to the, the other gloomy sheet, the square one where it's like kind of moody. Um, but these ones are kind of inspired by growing up in like the late 90s, early 2000s and like I used to put homework on floppy disks for a while, that kind of thing <laughs> um, and like the copying and pasting, spending my whole childhood copying and pasting those like old emoticons um, that are all like Japanese style emoticons made out of brackets and apostrophes and stuff um, that was like my whole childhood for a while it feels incredibly nostalgic so at first I was just pulling that together for me to use personally <laughs> um, and then there was space at the bottom so I added a couple more stickers a little floppy disk one as I said and then like a couple more like tech inspired ones there's a world wide web one and it has a cobweb which you know I think is funny for me on a personal level <laughs> so I'm really happy with those new stickers I think they're really cute um, I did end up putting the emoticon one in the shop as well, um, so if you're interested you can pick it up. And I put them, I spent time putting them in a grid, so when you print it at home you can just cut the little emoticons out like with big straight lines. Um, it took a while but I think it's worth it because it makes it a lot easier to manage. Um, so just something silly and cool. Um, those are the stickers I worked on. And then the last thing that I want to talk about today, <laughs> and hopefully the video actually filmed this time, um, honestly the trauma, is that I have something to unhaul because I made a small mistake. Um, I bought a Motem personal wide ring planner because I really liked the A6 Motem cover I had for my A6 books. Um, so I ordered the personal wide and um, I thought it would be a good choice size wise because my pages are not personal size, they're like Franklin Covey compact which as it turns out is not equivalent to personal wide, <laughs> um, which I kind of knew but I didn't realise there was such a gap in the measurements. Um, my pages are really only like a touch bigger than Filofax Personal and Personal Wide I think is a lot wider because I bought the cover and it's just way too big. <laughs> um, it's like my pages are swimming in here. I don't know if you can see the difference um, but it's too much. It's way too, way too much. Um, it's not a fun size. It's not a fun amount of extra room to have. Like it's it's a bit silly looking. Um, but I just wanted to mention, if anyone is interested in buying this, I'll put it in my shop. I paid, I think, £62 for it, and I'll put it in my shop for 60 Um, if you're in the UK, obviously UK only, because I don't want to ship it internationally, it's too expensive. Um, but if you're in the UK and you do use Personal Wide, and you're interested in picking it up for slightly less, I guess, than the actual price, um, it'll be in there <laughs> until it isn't. Um, and I'll ship it on Wednesday with the rest of my shop orders. Um... But just wanted to rehome it because I think it'll be easier than trying to return it. I don't know if they take returns. But there we go. A lesson was learned. <laughs> um, 
I have ordered the personal ring size, like the normal personal size ring one. Hopefully my pages fit well in that, <laughs> um, otherwise I'm a bit nervous. But there we go, hopefully it works out. Um, I think that's everything. Um, I think that's everything, I'm trying to think. It's confusing now because I've done this twice, I can't remember what I said this time and what I said last time. I have this really awful deja vu the whole time and I'm so baffled. But I think this week I just kind of wanted to come and talk to you about how things are going again. You guys were really, really supportive in my previous Filofax info dump when I said to you that I thought people maybe weren't as interested in Filofax as they are in Hobonichi. And it turns out that a lot of you are really interested. <laughs> um, I might have done you a really bad disservice by underestimating you. And I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, there were so many really lovely supportive comments talking about how most of you are more interested in how I think about doing things and how I work out like solutions for myself, I guess. So more about how I use the books and why I come up with the solutions and methods I do rather than like what the actual book is itself, which is really cool and very touching. <laughs> so I'm really glad that you guys find the information useful. I hope this was interesting again. Um, I will not make the mistake of um, underestimating you again, basically. Um, very excited that you guys like the Filofax. It's fun for me to work in a way that is so fluid that I can make things myself and still keep things tidy and then have something that is always changing and very easy to maintain. Like it's just, it's cool, I don't know. And I'm also really excited to be able to finally share it with you. <laughs> so the inserts are in the shop if you're interested. If you're not interested, absolutely no sweat, obviously no pressure, just putting the information out there for those who want it. Um, but otherwise I hope you enjoyed <laughs> the flip through again. Um, I do really love to flip through my file facts. I think there's something very satisfying about like the flip that you do over the rings. Um, it's just really nice. And again, I'll put those two shops in the description too because they're very cool. But there we go. I think that's most things done. I think that's everything covered. I hope you are all having a good week. Um, can you tell me in the comments what we're doing this weekend? <laughs> just because I'm curious. I think it's nice because people talk in the comments then. Um, and it's kind of nice to encourage the conversation taking place, I guess. So share what you're up to this weekend. Do you have plans? Are you catching up in your notebooks? I think I might go and see my grandparents, um, but they're having trouble trying to sell the shop, which I think I talked about previously just a little bit. Um, things have slowed down a bit, so I think I might go and visit them to cheer them up. I might surprise them, come and say hi. Haven't seen them since December, so it would be really cool to see them, obviously. It's not too long, <laughs> but it is still two months. And I think it just kind of sucks, doesn't it? When everyone used to live so close together and then people start to live further apart and it's just kind of sad. So I will go and see them, I think. I think that's what I want to do. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. This is working well for me. Again, I don't want to jinx it, but I'm still, still happy. So there we are. Okay, let me know what you're doing. Um, and hopefully praying this video actually recorded. <laughs> I will see you next week.